Now this 150th anniversary Martin is in astounding condition, beautiful shape. So this is why this guitar, in astounding condition, you can't get around it, it needs a neck reset. If you look at the saddle, we pretty well run out of real estate. You can't really go too much lower. And when I slip that straight edge along, you'll see that it sort of butts into the bridge about an eighth inch down from the top of the bridge. When the neck is reset and we slide that straight edge along, it should just kiss the top of the bridge. And that's going to allow us plenty of room to set the action anywhere we want it. The guitar has been played quite a bit. So the frets have been dressed a couple of times. So we're going to take this opportunity to do a complete refret. As well. we'll give you a play-by-play -play on this one as well. We're going to be refretting this guitar anyway. So I'm, these frets are not glued in. All I'm doing is heating them up because it makes the fret slightly more malleable. So you have to remember that when it cools, it's actually harder than it was to begin with. Heat lightly and then immediately remove the fret before it cools. We're just getting ready to heat this up and slip that fingerboard extension loose before we steam the neck off. I just wanted to point out again, I have this heat shrink tubing that is slipped over that drill bit and it adjusts to allow me to drill through to the exact depth to put a few holes in each of the fret slots to allow that steam to infiltrate on the underside like we did on that Gibson guitar. That's already been done. We're ready to heat and steam and slip that joint. Again, seven minutes at a time. We've got our heat shields in place. We've got the heat concentrated on the actual fingerboard extension. Unlike the Gibson, these are actual pearl dots. They're not plastic. So you don't have to worry about them melting with the heat of the uh, heat lamp. We're going to put our dampened cloth on there for a little bit and get some steam underneath that fingerboard extension. That's it. She's done. Wonderful. This came off super clean. There's no blushing whatsoever anywhere on the finish. 
the dovetail came out super clean as well. You can see, you can see they had a healthy supply of glue in there. But while that glue is still warm, I'm going to clean most of it up. So here's a view of the inside of the guitar at the back. I just wanted to show you how clean this neck came off. There's no moisture, no leakage, bone dry. Let that dry out, bone dry. Well, while that glue is still pliable, I'll go ahead now and clean up the rest of the glue on the male portion of the dovetail. Then we'll set it aside for a couple of days, let it dry out. So here's a view of the placement of the holes that I drilled through the fingerboard to let that steam get underneath. These holes are probably about 10 thou depth. This is as clean as it gets. And a quick shout out once again for my Patreon subscribers who obviously value these videos. This 150th anniversary HD28, uh, I'll be posting a complete 100% play-by-play A to Z on the Patreon channel. Thank you so much. Cheers.